Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and I'm going to show you a few basic things in Trimble Business Center in this video. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the user interface, and then show you how I set up a basic project. And this will be the first in a set of videos that shows you how I import and review raw data from a field survey in Trimble Business Center. So this is Trimble Business Center, the user interface. Uh, this is what it looks like when you first open a project. So the Project Explorer tab is open here on the left, and that's uh, one of the main uh, interface components that we'll be using in TBC. Then over here we have the Start page. Um, I don't normally use this. In fact, you can close it. Uh, this is where our map view will show up here in a minute in this gray area. Then you've got the ribbon up top. Okay. And so there's no more menu in TBC. This is version 4, by the way, 4.0. No more menu, just have the ribbon here. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is start a brand new project that we're going to use to import our data. So we'll go to File, New. And it gives you some templates to choose from here. And for my work, I typically just choose the U U.S. Survey Foot template. So we'll say OK. So it's open a new project now. We can see the, the unnamed project here in the Project Explorer, and I've got this uh, map or yeah, this map view now. It's called the plan view. And uh, you can see these in incredibly annoying grid lines. So the very first thing I do when I start a new TBC project is I turn off those grid lines. And that's right here, this little button on the ribbon on the ho on the home tab. Okay. Toggles those grid lines on and off. I don't need them on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of this project. So uh, we want to make sure that, because TBC will will crash occasionally, is prone to, to crashes. And uh, so we don't want to lose our data. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this Today's Date Raw Data Review. Okay, that name now shows up in the Project Explorer. And you can see right now there's two nodes under the project and the project explorer once for points once for imported files right now we don't have anything under either of those nodes because we've got a, a blank project so the next thing I want to do is I want to come in and set up my project settings now what I like to do is I like to do this one time and then save a template and then when you start a new project what you'll do is you'll open the template instead of just starting a, a blank project so I want to go ahead and show you how I would set up uh, or configure the project settings for my template. Okay, now this will change depending on where you work, uh, but it'll give you the basic idea. Okay, so the first thing I do, the most important thing, is come right down to coordinate system. Okay, right now you can see it's set to the default WGS 84. I'm going to change that. And TBC maintains a list of your most recently used coordinate systems. So you can see right here, state plane zone three is the, the zone I work in most frequently, state plane zone. Okay, but this particular project we're gonna look at today is actually in a different zone. Okay, so you come over here to your coordinate system group. For me, I want United States, state plane 1983, lists you all the zones in the United States. For this job, I want California zone two. Okay, hit next. Ask you what kind of geoid you want. I'm going to use geoid 12B. That's the latest published geoid. Okay, unknown quality. I'm going to set that to survey quality. And the vertical datum for this job is NGVD29. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that there. Say finish. Now you can see that the coordinate system is set to zone two. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up, now that I've set the coordinate system, which is the most important thing for me, go back up to general information, and we'll just drop some information in here. So I'm going to type in my job number and the project name. And come over here and we'll enter the username so that people know who was working on this. Okay, then the other thing we want to do is come down and we want to set up our units. Okay, so coordinate, I like northing easting elevation as my order. Okay, and let's see. Decimal precision, I'm going to set to 
the nearest hundredth on coordinate and elevation. Okay. And those other settings look good. Distance, I just want to double check that this is US survey feet. And I'm also going to set that to just display to the nearest hundredth. Okay. That's all I'm going to change on the units tab for now. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to come down to my computations tab. I always like to set my point tolerances because this controls when you get error flags. Okay, and so I like to set mine to start. I set them fairly low. So I'm going to do 500 horizontal, 800 vertical. Okay, and I don't even change the mapping quality and the unknown quality. I just set my survey quality. So what this essentially means is if I have two computed coordinates for the same point that are farther than 500 apart horizontal or 800 apart vertical, it's going to flag that in my project. And that's all the settings I'm going to change for now. I would say OK. Now, if you wanted to save this as a template, all you would do is go Save Project As. And we could just call this Today's Date Template. And now you would have a template that you could open to start new projects. I'm going to go ahead and reopen that project we had before, Raw Data Review. OK, so now I've got my project set up. I'm ready to import data. So just kind of to review the user interface, this is our project explorer. Shows us the points in our project, any files we've imported. This is the ribbon which has all our tools. Okay, and the most common ribbons that I use are the home ribbon, the data, uh, excuse me, the home tab on the ribbon, the data tab, and the survey tab. And we'll learn some more about those in the next few videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video now. We're at about seven minutes. And in the next video, I will show you how to import raw data from a field survey into TBC.